Hey guys, decided to do something a little bit different today and talk you through how I made this Cowboys Grooves cake. So starting off, the top tier is an eight inch round cake. So I took an eight inch cake board, cut a small hole in the middle of it so the wooden dowel would be able to go through that you'll see later on. And this cake is uh, three layers with almond cake that I cut the caramelization or the brown part of off. So when you cut into it, it's really nice and white. And just using the buttercream to sandwich it and then give a nice little thin layer on the outside so the cake doesn't dry out while it sits in the fridge overnight. So once that was done and smooth, popped it in the fridge and worked on the bottom tier. The bottom tier was a 10 inch square almond cake again with vanilla Swiss buttercream and sandwiching those together as well. This one in specifics, if, it, if any of them needed to be flat and sharp, it obviously needed to be this one. I'll give you a couple of tips with how to deal with um, square or rectangular cakes in a minute. So after those set in the fridge overnight to get really cold, we started working on the frosting on the outside. Decided to make it gray, so I dyed my vanilla Swiss buttercream gray. And with round cakes, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just not be afraid of using a lot of buttercream, Use, using it where you need to, filling in all those mini crevices, and don't be afraid to scrape off a little bit to make sure that your exterior is really nice and smooth. And once you're happy with it, scrape off the top. And if you guys would like, I have a little secret as to how to make your tiers or your um, tops of your cakes really flat. Leave comments below if you would like to see a video about that. And now with the square cake. Again, like the round cake, you really can't be afraid of using a lot of buttercream and you just need to constantly be adding more buttercream, scraping it until you really get those nice sharp edges and make sure you are um, scraping the extra buttercream off of your bench scraper or your spatula each time so you're not messing with the frosting when you scrape it off. All right, and it looks really level. So after those have set in the fridge uh, for at least an hour again until it's really cold to the touch, now it's time to prep the bottom tier to hold on to the top tier. And the way we do that is by adding dowels. Um, so what I'm doing now is using a different eight inch cake board and just creating an outline where that top tier would be. And I'm using bubble tea straws, using six of them for this eight inch round cake and evenly distributing them around that circle that I made to hold the weight of the top tier so that it doesn't smush the bottom tier. And once I put them all in there, using some scissors to cut them right at the top where they meet the top of the frosting so that the cake itself on the top is only gonna be resting on those uh, bubble tea straws and not on the actual cake. And once we're done with that, just smushing them back down there and we are ready to put it on top. This is the scariest part of tearing cakes. You can see I have a little wooden dowel that's cut barely um, halfway to the middle of that top tier and just letting it go. <laughs> it's always the scariest part, but now you can see the cake is really nice and flat and level. It's not lopsided or anything, and we are ready to decorate. So here I'm uh, making chocolate covered strawberries that I decorated like footballs, but I didn't get that footage. And then I uh, got edible printed images of the Cowboys logo that I put on top. And to cover uh, where those two cakes meet, I'm doing a navy blue scalloped border, and I'm gonna do that on the top and the bottom of each cake. And once we're done with that, just putting all the chocolate covered strawberries around. And I really loved how this one turned out. It really looks nice and polished, and I love how the strawberries gave a different look to this cake. 
and I loved the idea of making them look like footballs. I thought that was a really great idea. So that's it. If you guys liked this video, like it, subscribe, comment below what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.